Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. This video is about 3D printers that are available this holiday season and my top two picks for printers for printing 3D printable planes. All right, so the benefit of 3D printed planes is you can take a CAD model and you can print a plane that is very accurate and it flies almost as good if not as good as a molded fiberglass plane it's probably not quite as good as a molded carbon fiber plane but it still flies really well we have molded plane performance at balsa wood prices the, and the 3d printer does all of the hard work so what this is is they are 3d printed thin walled sections so there's carbon fiber that runs through the wing and through the fuselage to help give them support so what deals are there on 3d printers that can print this airplane so the creality ender 3 is a decent enough printer that it can print all of the airplane stuff that you need. It has enough of a print envelope as far as it's 200 wide, 200 deep, and it's 240 tall Z axis allows you to print just about any type of 3D printable RC airplane that is available. There might be a couple that are outside of that, but this will print most everything. However, this printer is almost a hobby in itself to keep it up. It takes a lot of maintenance, a lot of fiddling. It's a kit when you get it. And there are much better options now available that print better than this ever could at a cheaper price. So the Ender 3 has been so successful that it is being copied now, even though the Ender 3 was a copy of the Perusa 3i Mark III. And now you can get a printer that has all of the upgrades that the Ender 3 is selling now for the same price as a basic Ender 3. And the best one of those knockoff Ender 3s is the Voxel Lab Aquila S2. And so the, the, the Voxel Lab Aquila X2 has a direct drive extruder. It has a PEI removable print bed system. and it comes mostly assembled. There's like three parts that you have to put together on this. Whereas the, the Ender 3 was like an erector set kit. You had to put the, the entire gantry together and there was a lot of fiddling. This took probably an hour and a half to put together and to tune and to get everything set up right. And even then like bed leveling, very difficult because it's all manual on this machine. Like I said, the Ender 3 in its most basic and inexpensive form is like a hobby in itself to keep up and running. The Artillery Sidewinder is still my favorite printer of all the printers. Price for performance, it is hands down the best of them all. It has a direct drive extruder and volcano tip, so it can handle high temperatures and relatively high speed printing. Uh, it has a AC print bed, so it can go relatively high temperature. The print bed is this glass, which sticking uh, directly to the glass is eh, a little problematic, but I use blue tape for all of my airplane printing and it works fantastic. The bed is always flat and rock solid. I have, I don't use the auto bed leveling because it's not necessary. Once you get the bed leveled on this, 
It's I've leveled the bed on my X1s maybe five times in the last four years, and I print with them thousands of hours of printing with them and only leveling the print bed every once every couple of months. Holidays, for the holiday specials, you can pick up one of these printers for under $400 on Amazon. The great thing about Amazon, you know, I, there's, I have sort of a love-hate thing with Amazon, but I love the fact that you can buy a printer from Amazon, you can take it out of the package, you can try it out, if there's something wrong with it, you can put it back in the package and they will give you all your money back when you ship it back to them. All right, so hopefully I've given you some ideas on what printers to look for for this holiday season. Uh, please check out our website and buy the 3D printable files for printing a model just like this. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.